be renewed by your mind. And renewal, the renewal of our minds is help. It helps us is we if we're constantly working on bettering our mentals and bettering our mind. There's so many tools around us that we have easy access to that we don't utilize in our life. And now it's time. I'm gonna say it's time. It's time for us to step out of the ways that we're used to living used to responding to things used to doing every single day and i'm gonna say this because sometimes things like this need to be said um a few people inbox me on facebook and they talk about their mental health issues and they talk about um, their anxiety and they talk about their depression with anxiety and depression you are the answer to your own anxiety and your own depression you are the answer to your own anxiety and your own depression. And I'm saying that because anxiety and depression literally is connected. It comes from feeling confused and lost within. And that is where God, the life force essence, lives at. It resides within you. It's the same it's, to, it's, to, it's actually the reason behind your heart beating and your eyes blinking and your mind thinking and your mouth speaking. You know, it's the reason for that. That's the life essence energy within every last one of us. And so with that being said, you are in control of you. And how you limit and minimize anxiety and depression. You minimize it. And you limit it by connecting to God and praying, like being prayerful and, and saying, God, thank you for allowing me to experience happiness and joy in my life. Thank you for allowing me to experience happiness and joy in my heart. Thank you for allowing me to experience the constant renewing of my mind. Like that is important. And so when you thank him and you are in pure gratitude of of that experience and of those experiences all if and even if they didn't happen yet you're speaking into the power of god you're speaking into god you're speaking how you feel into the very essence around you it's also the very essence in you as above so below as within so without so if you're speaking out loud and praying as if it already happened, your life is going to begin to change. It's going to begin to change. And so when you renew your mind constantly by what you're watching on TV, by what you're reading every single day, by what you're eating every single day, by what you're doing every single day is connected to your anxiety and also your depression. So if you choose every single day to do something different, instead of brushing your teeth with your right hand, brush it with your left hand. Instead of going to eat a bowl full of yesterday meal for breakfast, right? Because you know we do that sometimes. How about having a nourishing breakfast? Boil your egg without the without the um yellow. You just eat the egg white with some, you know, spinach. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a real good breakfast. Or you can, you know, you can, um, um, I want to say brooch. I don't know, but it's like boiling the egg, right? Um, taking out the yellow part, of course, after you put it in the bowl, take out the yellow part, keep the whiting in there. And it's like two eggs. You put it inside of a boiling pot of water, put some salt and pepper or an onion or whatever else you want to put in there. And you put, um, you put, um, whole leaves spinach leaves inside the pot too when you stir it up and that's a good breakfast with a piece of rye toast we we 100 all wheat rye toast what come on now there's so many ways that we can feed ourselves so all of that is added into our anxiety and our depression and i only know because recently i just started literally looking at the ingredients on everything i buy because we can walk around in a 
unaware state on purpose or you can be intentional with what you're eating and be intentional with what you're watching and be intentional with how you're speaking be intentional with how you're feeling be intentional with what you're thinking everything is connected to the next thing how you eat all of that is connected to life our health and our wealth you know what i'm saying so we are the answer to our own anxiety and depression And it's simple when you look at it in a simplistic form and you speak into it in a simplistic way. If you're willing to do that, life can become so much more easier for us and less depressing, less full of anxiety, just less of being frustrated and aggravated. We can lessen that type of energy if we really focused on it. If you get up every single day and sit on the t sit, sit in front of the TV and watch the same episodes and not really pay attention to truly being connected, it's being fully aware of your surroundings enough to know that if I continue to watch this TV, this TV can control my own mind. If everything you do every single day can really control you if you allow it to. If you do not have control, right, over that one thing. No matter what that one thing is, it is controlling you. If you do not have control over that one thing, it is controlling you. And this is what it looked like when food is in control. This is what it looked like. But I'm working. Y'all don't know what I do. Y'all don't know it. But this is me reevaluating where I'm at with myself, where I, where I am with myself. And I won't be able to really talk to y'all if I wasn't going through the process. But this is my goal, my journey, my journey in life. And this is Nicole's world, but it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a world full of things for, to help you guys. That's my intention. My intention is to help as many people as I can and to touch as many lives as I can before it's my time to go. And so that's the calling that God put on my life. And if any of y'all feel like that's y'all calling in your life to be help people and to be present with people that's going through a hard time and to truly pour into other people, know that, that if that's your calling, you are a light worker. You are sent here from God with a specific life purpose. And you are a divergent and divergence. They don't really follow the rules. They're really not supposed to follow the rules, you know. They're not supposed to um, be controlled. They're not supposed to be controlled. But they are supposed to do what God sent them here to do, even if it's uncomfortable. Even if it's uncomfortable. That's what our purpose is in this life. But if you're experiencing anxiety and depression, a lot of times that is, a, is an extension of not doing what you were called here to do or not doing what your heart truly wants you to do, but you're doing what everybody else around you is doing because it's making you comfortable and it's making them comfortable. And I know I'm saying something that's uncomfortable, but if it's uncomfortable and it pinch your nerve, it's meant for you to take heed to it. And I'm saying it because I love you and I love everybody. And it, and I'm only saying this because I have literally sat with myself so much to know all the things that I, I should be. I should have been doing at that moment and at that present time that I wasn't doing. It was making me upset. It was fresh. I was frustrating my own self by not doing it. And it's taking out on people around me by not doing it. Be honest and authentic and raw. But now that I understand that, it's, it's, it's sometimes what you're not doing can make you miserable. Sometimes what you're not doing, if you're constantly remind, reminded that you're not doing it by the thought constantly coming in your brain and your mind and your heart and you keep on pushing it away, that causes frustration. That causes internal frustration because you're not listening to the... You're not listening to God because a lot of times that's God talking to us. We ignore it. We are our own answer to anxiety and depression. 
we are. And it's frustrating to even have to sit with that <laughs> on so many levels. I just want you guys to know that, get it in alignment with what is for you. It's your responsibility to do that. It's your responsibility to get in alignment. It's your responsibility, even if, you know, it's the most challenging thing for you. We wasn't created to not have challenges, first of all. We were created to have challenges. And so if our, if our depression and our anxiety is there and we feel an extreme amount of loss and an extreme amount of loneliness, that literally is God trying to get your attention. Because everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. There is not one thing that happened to us in our life that's by a mistake. God makes things happen to us intentionally and everything happens in divine timing. Like if you keep seeing repeated numbers over and over and over again, the same number, go look that number up. Your angel guide and spirit guide or angels that surround you and protect you a lot or 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 even your ancient, your ancestors that's that passed away. They're around you. They're trying to get you to understand, see something, to understand something that you may need to know in that moment, in that per present moment right then and there. We just got to wake up out of the matrix and stop wandering through life aimlessly and be more present in our experience instead of scattered all over the place. Is if you're living life scattered like that, you don't have any clarity. You're not really connected to intuition. And you feel more lost than you feel found. You can't find your, your yourself. You can't find your positive thoughts, your happy-go-lucky self, your joyful attitude, your optimistic way of looking at things. And if you are surrounded by people that are contributing to you in a negative way, I'm talking to the ones that... It's just trying to find themselves and they feel like they are not supposed to be around certain people. Listen to that. Listen to that urge. Listen to that urge. And if you're in a place where you can't move around, you can't really control that you have to, and you have to be around them, create the space for yourself in that, in that, in that home, in that house or wherever you are, create the space. Create the space for yourself. And so the moment you create the space for yourself in that space is your God connection space. That is a space where you connect back to God. You put things, um, maybe create a, get a table and put whatever deity you, you know, you um, are connected to. Whether it's Jesus, put Jesus on the table and lace it with angels and write to yourself daily in that space. Get some incense, burn some candles in that space. Create that space because that's your prayer space. You know what I'm saying? Or meditation. If you meditate, create the space. You know what I'm saying? If, get some crystals and get some sage and get some Palo Santo and, you know, and get the table and get whatever that makes you feel good, connects you to that feel good power of God. Put it on that table. And this is the space where you're going to journal at. You're going to speak to God at. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to do what your heart feel led to do that makes you feel good. As long as it's in a line of righteousness and, and goodness, that's going to give you goodness back. That's what you want to do. You know, we have to find a level of connection to good feeling to God. And I'm going to say good feeling because when you have God in you and you walk in with God, talking with God, you feel good. That's just it. You even look at people's situations and at people and you can see them past who they are in front of you. You can see them. You can see what they feel like inside themselves from just being connected to God because you know God have us reading people and understanding people deeper than they understand themselves when we are in tune with the universe and when you are in tune you can you your psychic abilities is increased your connection to people is heightened and I'm saying it could be heightened in a negative way if you're not aware of all the things that you do that you don't say no to and that's being an empath being an empath can have you doing things and saying yes because you are a yes man and you're a yes ma'am and you just feel like you got to do everything for everybody but doing nothing for you 
that is the negative aspect of being an empath. The positive aspect of being an empath is when you have boundaries and you know how to say no and you know when to say yes and you know how to make time for you. Because empathic connection is being psychic, being intuitive, being clairvoyant, audio voyant, um, audio clairvoyant. It's so, so many ways to look at this. Like we don't, we limit ourselves because of what we was taught. And the moment we feel like we know our own self is the moment we know we are more than what we were ever taught to be. And that is just so, and let, let that be encouraging and let that be inspiring so that you can want to learn more about you so that you can want to become a better person period and in a day in a time like this listen negative energy is at an all-time high you don't want to be a part of that negative energy and now right now is the time for you to create a peaceful space for you right now is the time for you to literally tune in to the people around you to see who is around you that should not be around you Who is around you that is pulling at you and draining you of your life essence and your life force? Literally, you have to say no and say, I'm not doing this on this day or this day. I'm going to make time for myself. And I know, because listen, older women, older women was taught to do everything and be everything to everybody. No one... That I know from my from way back in, in the day or the people that I ever that I meet, a lot of women that I meet don't even have any clue what deep compassion is for yourself. Deep compassion is self-love at a, at the deepest level. You're holding a space for you. And so that is connected also strongly to being aware of being anxious and being aware of being depressed. Because when you work in it at the deepest level of yourself, you understand that being depressed and having I and being full of anxiety is is that a is is me overworking myself, being underpaid, pulling extra hours at work because I'm trying to ignore the stuff that's going on at home. And at that, you're ignoring a lot of things that's going on in here too. So our shadow self is also connected to being depressed and, and anxiety. It's issues of life that we have yet to deal with. So our trauma issues that we don't that we don't heal can lead us to have trauma bonds with people on the outside of us. And you will literally know if it's a trauma bond when you start healing, even if you end the connection, you're you're healing, right? You didn't, you know, you stop you stop doing all this, a lot of things, being aggravated, being frustrated. You literally connect back to God and you are working from a whole different conscious state of mind a peaceful state of mind a joyful state of mind and so in that vibration that frequency when nothing can pull you down and bring you down you at your highest you powerful now you can operate inside of your own life and understand what it is to disconnect and what it is to connect and what it is to reconnect what it is to rebuild and what it is to level up what it is to write down goals and writing is important if you are experiencing high anxiety and depression. If you're experiencing them and it's high, write. Writing is such a healing thing to do and powerful thing to do. And if you have to write down your, your past and your memories and things you want to get off your chest, you want to write that down. Not everything at once, but the, all the, the main thing that's bothering you take a week. Every day write something down that's really sitting on you that you really don't that you really can't tolerate dealing with you want to write it down on a piece of paper and you want to go outside and you want to burn that piece of paper and let that energy go everything is energy everything is energy everything is energy like i can talk y'all through um other ways of dealing with things like if I can talk about Bible scriptures and you know the the Quran and you know a lot other a lot of other things you know I can um talk about but if I can give y'all simple things to do to get y'all through life and at the same time connect to higher conscious God because God is working with you what you need to know is that anything you're going through you're never alone you're never alone and so anxiety is something that don't even have to be a, a thing if you don't want it to be a thing 
or depression is something that don't have to be a thing if you don't want to be if you don't want it to be a thing you have to know because you are who you are you have the power to control any aspect of your life you just have to learn how to do one thing at a time one thing at a time doing everything all at once will have you going cuckoo and crazy just do one thing at a time i'm gonna deal with this one this day and i'm gonna dedicate this day to doing this one thing the next day i'm gonna do this on this day and i'm gonna dedicate this day for doing everything for me only even if i gotta go to work for a couple hours i'm gonna go to work but i'm gonna have boundaries at work okay I'm also going to get out of work and go home and focus on me. I'm going to sit with myself. And I'm just going to sit and breathe deep. And I'm telling you, with that type of energy, you are going to learn to relax your mind until the sun rises after it goes down. And you gon' love you. <laughs> you gon' love you. I sing it over and over again. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I hope you feel that good energy right now. Because I'm telling you, we are our own answer. You just have to be willing to step outside and step step from outside and step inside. No one has taught this enough. Not one. I don't know any. I just started learning myself and meditating and writing stuff down and understanding how things is working for me. If this is being a power, empowering for me and being a power move for me, I know that it can be domino effect by me just telling y'all how to do things, how to treat yourself and how to speak to yourself and literally how to connect back to, to, to source and to self, to self, God. In his most highest form, in his most loving, caring, amazing form. It's really you. It's really you, I'm just saying. Because we become who we be around. If you are around God, and I'm saying, you may not physically be able to see him, but just by miracles happening in your life and blessings coming in your life, you can't, don't be happy after you get, be happy before you get there. Be happy, because when you're happy, and you're like, oh yes, I see that, I feel that coming. We're going we gonna, to we gonna speak on that. <laughs> we're going to speak on that. We're going to write on that. We're going to manifest this thing together. Me and God together in a union. That energy, because you know, your frequency and God's frequency got to be on the same. That's that 5D energy. 3D energy is being connected to the physical energy of this realm. Physical five senses that will have a person in all types of addictions. Literally, you have to raise the vibration on all on five senses that's going to take off and take you to a whole nother plateau of experience in life. And it's not that hard. We're going to talk about what kind of plateaus of life can you experience if you raise the modality and the vibration and the frequency on all of that. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Well, I love you guys. I do. I really do. And make sure, right, that you come back to the next video that I post. Okay? And I love you. Have an amazing day, night, or evening. And don't let nobody steal your joy. It's your job. Your responsibility to keep your joy. And protect your peace.